we love this the tunnel and one of the things we wish that we could have on it is information from Alabama and Florida and Tennessee because we get kids from all over it would be I mean since we're doing core it would be wonderful if we had a input from the you know the nation I don't know if that's possible but we think it's wonderful, it's wonderful. one way that uh, tunnels changed my um, working with children and keeping records um, happened day before yesterday, an example, day before yesterday, it was kind of ironic. Um, I have a fairly new child and we're still receiving records and um, the speech teacher gave me a form to fill out uh, on this child and uh, she needed various data on the child and when I went to the office, because I forget sometimes, I went to the office to dig through his files and there was almost nothing there. And then it hit me, you know, I had the resource right there at my desk, so when I pulled it up, I had access to his records from the previous two schools that he had attended, so I could fill the form out and it was ready for her that day. So I really appreciated that, being able to have access to the data right then. Okay, the tunnel is most useful for me. Um, not so much, well, it's very useful for me as a teacher, but I use it with my students. Um, I am big on goal setting, and so it allows me to print out data that is color coded, they can see their CRCT scores, I teach fifth grade. So it builds and they see these colors and I can see my students want to have the gold and you know, well look, okay you have a pattern here, you've got greens and third and fourth and you're so close and so it's really an awesome way for me to set a CRCT goal for my students and it's visual and also for their parents because you can export the data into a Word document, print it out, show it at parent conference and it's just right there and it makes me look great because it looks like I have put all this information together and color coded it and uh, this nice little package and so and then when the parents take it home the kids are aware of what the data means and that's powerful too so that we're all on the same page about where we're trying to go so that is what makes the tunnel most useful for me in my classroom. And we had discussed the fact that we're, we, uh, our whole county is trying to go to Lexile scores now and uh, we had discussed the fact that we knew that the book may be too hard for some of our students and we needed to do some kind of uh, uh, assignments for them, alternate assignments, and, but we had no idea how many and we just happened to pull up Tunnel and click on the Lexile that uh, it was divided and it had a uh, less than 750 and by clicking on that we saw all of our students in fourth grade who were less than 750 and uh, uh, sadly it was a few more than what we had thought but it, it allowed us to know how many approximately how many students would have trouble reading that selection so it was right at our fingertips during our planning um, I also use the tunnel to help drive my instruction because you can look at trends in your own classroom and that's really wonderful when you're trying to you know, we think we do a great job teaching everything, but there might be one thing that's not our favorite that we don't spend enough time on, and you can see that on the tunnel when you go back and look at class data. So it helps not only with individual student instruction and goal setting, but also as a teacher, I can see where a class that's coming to me, oh, maybe they really need trouble with vocabulary acquisition. Well, I know that day one, because I can look and see, and then help with um, intervention times. I can put kids in specific groups based on the data that's there on the tunnel already for me. I teach special, special education and when I'm working on my IEPs it's really easy for me to go in and get the scores to add into the IEP and also if I have um, a student who is transferred in I don't have to wait on the records I can go ahead and get that IEP going where I can um, begin the services for those students so yes I can see a student's information immediately and do not have to wait on their records in order to work on their IEP um, you know to get the information so that I can begin services as soon as possible. One of the things we like about the tunnel is that um, every every week we reevaluate our students, their progress, and by the progress reports we go through and we decide whether or not they need to be remediated or not. And some classes are more remediated, and some are more, you know, um, challenging. And so I don't remember their scores just off the top of my head so when we have our team meetings we look in our, our the tunnel and we look and see how they performed what their history was and is it just a phase or whatnot so sometimes when we forget what their scores are we can just look up real quick see what they're see what they usually do and then whether we need to move them or not so it's it's quick just like that 
you can look up there. So you're going to the office, looking in the vault, and coming back. Mm -hmm. You know. Great. I like looking at the tunnel, looking at each student's um, individual trend, um, because you know the media may think that one teacher's test score is what's important, but true educators know that it's each individual student's test score from year to year. And so when you can pull up a student and you see the trend, you see they're showing growth from year to year. Or one student that may still not meet, they're showing growth. And so I like looking at the, the trends. Um, I do special education and when we do eligibilities and we place students in special education, we're required to provide a massive amount of data um, for response to intervention and, and to, to prove that they actually qualify for special education. So I can use the tunnel, go in, just go at, just print out a report and I can attach it to their special education eligibility report and I can also add that information into the IEP. Uh, our uh, kaleidoscope teacher took nominations for uh, students that we thought would could pass to be in kaleidoscope. And usually we're running around trying to gather data and go to the vault or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it was so easy. I mean, I could do it literally in my planning time by uh, getting on tunnel and pulling uh, absences, you know, attendance records, past test scores. It just made it so much easier mm -hmm. to, to look at one place.